Hi guys, welcome to another uh, episode on the Big Deal Experience. Thank you to everyone who subscribed to my YouTube channel and everybody who participated in the last video I posted. It was a very interesting conversation I had in the comment section and I enjoyed reading your comments. So if you haven't seen the previous video, please check it out and drop your comments because hey, the conversation never ends and so we can move on. What we talk about here is experiences about life that are such a big deal. I am talking from, you know, the way I see things and how I feel like things ought to be. So what I want to talk about today is how that ladies are less concerned about being courteous. I mean, courtesy demands that you are polite in some ways, you know, in some kinds of situations. Like, for example, we are having a date. A lot of times, ladies are less concerned about the feelings of the guys while i feel like guys pay more attention to make sure that the lady feels feels very comfortable so honestly i met a lady one time i'm hoping not to give too much detail so she doesn't get to know that i'm talking about her but i feel like she's a better person right now because we're so cool so moving on anyways this was in 2014 so that's like six years ago i met this lady we met on the first day and i said okay you know what um I mean, we're in a hurry today. I think it was, it, was, it was in church. I went to a particular church and I met this lady. It was after service. You know, I got her number and all that. And so I decided to give her a call. So I just called her and she said, hey, babe, what's up? How you doing? And we started to have a conversation, you know. And my expectation was just to, you know, tell her that, okay, this is my number and we could chat. So it just happened that we continued talking. After a while, my credit finished. So I made sure that I called back immediately. And guess what? When I called back, this lady said, oh, I guess your credit finished. I said, yes. And she said, <laughs> oh my God. I was really trying to find who cracked the joke. I was like, I don't understand. Like, what, what, why, why are you laughing? What, what's funny? I had to tell her, I'm like, Am I, I don't understand. Like, why are you laughing? Am I working with MTN? Like, I don't understand. My credit is not supposed to finish or what? It's not like I told you that I had Benz. It's not like I said I proved one high standard to you. This is just a normal guy who is talking to you. This is just a normal guy who is meeting you. You get? And I'm talking to you and you are laughing about the fact that my credit finished. And you probably don't even have credit. So I feel like a lot of times these things happen because some ladies have a particular, you know, expectation from guys. She never cared about how that could make me feel, you know, trying to laugh at me because my credit finished while I was talking to you. It finished and I reloaded immediately and called you back so what you're expecting is that i should have unlimited credit because i didn't even plan to talk to you for too long we now had a conversation and we started talking i'm a unit finish and you're laughing i don't understand that same conversation at the end of the day i was like okay you know what we could be having a misunderstanding and all that so what do you think i mean let's just meet and talk you know and she insisted that we should meet at ShopRite, icm ikeja city mall I'm just meeting you for the first time. I'm like, okay, let's bury the hatchet. It was looking like, okay, we, we, we started off on the wrong foot. So let's just sit and talk. Let's just have lunch. And you are saying that I have to come and pick you for us to go to ICM from Yanoba. It's not a big deal, but I mean, this is me at we are in Yanoba. Two of us were in the same area when in Yanoba. I said, let's see. Let's meet and talk. There are restaurants. There, there are places where we could just see and just talk. I said, I have to take you to ShopRite and I have to come and pick you. And this was six years ago. This was like 2014. I had just finished service. I don't even think there was maybe Uber as at that time. Maybe it was existing. But I don't know if it was really in Lagos. Like If it was really in use like that as at that time. So it means that you were just assuming that I had a car already. And if I don't have a car, I should go and rent. Then I should come. Because she mentioned it. I should come and pick her. I feel like a lot of times ladies have fantasies and... When a guy just approaches them, they just want to experience all of those fantasies immediately on that guy. And I'm like, you don't do things like that. I don't have a problem going to ICM, but when I'm going to ICM, let's know that, okay, we are going to have a good time. I mean, I've heard a couple of times when um, a lady is out with a guy and maybe get to meet at a nice place, you know, Radisson Blue. And after having lunch and all that, they're coming out and the lady is asking the guy, where did you park? Why would you just jump into conclusion and ask somebody, where did you park? At least, I mean, there are polite ways to ask to find out if somebody drove or not. Do you get, you say things like, um, so how are you moving or how are you going? And the guy can now say, oh, okay, I drove. Or he could say, I'll get an Uber or, you know, that kind of thing. Not where did you park? Jump into conclusion. Did he tell you that he has a car? We need to understand that the same level of courtesy is demanded when you are hanging out with a guy. I've met countless number of ladies and 
what I have seen a lot of ladies do and it's so much of a turn off. I'm not trying to say that, okay, I am one, I'm, I'm one person that you're supposed to impress or I am one Mr. Nigeria that you need to impress and all that. But I'm just saying that it is just a general, I mean, this, these are things that guys would definitely notice and just get turned off. But you just feel like because you brought heaps to the table, you know, any guy is just supposed to take trash. I feel like a lot of times women don't pay attention to these things because they just feel like our feelings cannot be hurt. So hey, let me hear your thoughts in the comment section. Tell me what you think about people who are like this. Do you feel like ladies need to do more when it comes to relationships with guys, when it comes to being courteous, when it comes to being conscious of the things that you say? Guys, what do you think about what I just said? I mean, have you faced, have you been faced with people like this who are just utterly rude, you know, when you're trying to have conversations with them and all that, you know, what do you think about how ladies, re how ladies react when they are, you know, having talks or when they are in the talking stage with a guy? So, hey, please, if you like this video, just click the like button and don't forget to share your thoughts in the comment section and please subscribe to my YouTube channel. My name is Modibayo. Till I see you next time. Cheers. Press the bell icon on the YouTube app and never miss another update.